for all you motorcycle riders with long hair. No more is there going to be the need for wrapping your hair up in a ponytail and your hair looking terrible when you get there and having breakage. Um, I have ordered this product called Hightail. And if you go online, there are some great reviews and, and videos of how this works. Um, I'm going to probably need to do this on a day that it's um, raining and I don't need the, the helmet for a couple of days because they do suggest 72 hours um, for the adhesive to cure. But this is a hair protector in which you just basically tuck your hair into the little pouch. And the pouch is pretty big from the video, so it looks like it'll hold a lot of hair. And there's going to be no need to have to use a ponytail um, holder or a hair tie. So just wanted you to see the product. Um, this is the packaging that it came in and we're gonna open it up and, and take a look. here's the product open. You can see that the pouch is resealable. So if I want to store this, I can, that's nice. Um, here's the piece that attaches to the helmet. It's the pouch that will catch the hair. So you can just drop your hair in here. Um, it comes with a spacer and there are some instructions to put this on. So this will be something um, that I will be doing later. All right, I'm getting ready to install the Hightail on the back of my helmet. And it did come with an instruction booklet, but um, they do say that they have put together a video and that at any time you have trouble with the written instructions to stop and review the video. And I'm just gonna say, I watched the video before this, so I kind of knew what to expect. So when I read the instructions, um, I would say, yes, you definitely need to watch the, the video. The Hightail comes with a cardboard spacer. And so I've affixed it to the helmet with a little bit of scotch tape, as the video suggested. There's a notch here so that you can align it to the center of the helmet. And I'm gonna put my Hightail clips along this lower edge. That the surface is clean. Um, they recommend a 50, 50 solution of rubbing alcohol, um, maybe some water, soapy water. I just used 70% isopropyl, wiped it off, let it dry. Um, you're gonna see the Hightail has these clips and you're going to really just pull this clip off on one side and make sure that you, I actually do it to both sides, but line up to where the clips are distanced from the spacer correctly. You can see the clips just pull out of these grooves, very simple. And then you're just going to make sure that when you're aligning the spacers that you are going to have the clips to where they can fit on each side appropriately. You can see I've put the spacers on um, and then the clips. The only problem that I ran into was it was really hard to get the film to peel off the back of the clips. And then it's gonna take some pressure for me holding this glue down and kind of press on it for a while because it does want to come up. You do have to mold it to the helmet a little bit. So I'm gonna press on this for a while and then hopefully it will actually adhere better than what it's doing now. While I'm letting those spacers um, adhere, I did notice when I pulled this, I mean, while I'm letting the clips adhere, excuse me, I did notice when I pulled this spacer off that they had already made an adhesive strip on the back that I could have peeled off and used. And once again, you see this is popping up. So this is a little bit of a problem so far. Plans and gently peel the hooks off or the clips off because they just kept um, popping out on the side. So I couldn't put it along this bottom lip as I, as I had wanted to. So I've actually had to put it on the helmet itself. I've cleaned that with alcohol. This seems to be staying much better on this surface. Again, you know, they say give it a minimum of 20 minutes, but the full time they recommend 72 hours, and I'm starting to think that's probably good advice. Or at least 24 hours, because I do want to ride tomorrow evening, and hopefully it's gonna do in 24 hours as much as it could do in the recommended 72. Um, as you can see, the clips are on these edges would clip down on each side 
and then that would leave me a pouch to put um, my hair in. So we'll check back in later. Update to the Hightail system. So if you've been watching this video, you know that I've followed all the instructions and put the system on perfectly. And then you may say, well, then why this gap? Well, it's because the Hightail system failed. And I got up this weekend to go riding and one of the side clips had come undone. So it just didn't adhere. And that I was having problems with that adhesive from the beginning. Um, so here's what I've done to correct it. I was able to salvage it. And first off, um, you're gonna notice that there's a gap. The first time I installed it, the spacer had it such that when you position the side clips, this was all pulled flush. But really, it's not that big of a deal to have a little bit of a gap at the back because I think the first system had it pulled so tightly, it was putting so much pressure on these clips that it was pulling on the adhesive. Um, even though I'd let it set up and cure for the, the amount of time recommended, um, it still pulled on it. So this time when I put the clips on, I left space. And yes, I'm gonna have a gap, but really I don't see that being a big deal because when I put the helmet on now, um, I actually have a little more give in the pouch. It's not pulled so tightly, it's easier for me to get up under here and put my hair under it. So I'm pleased with that actually. I went to uh, a parts store here in town and I was able to purchase some more 3M tape and actually for body side molding for cars. And so even though this is a half inch, I went ahead and got quarter inch stripping so that I put two pieces together and lined them flush so maybe if one piece failed, another wouldn't. Um, I did leave the old adhesive on that came with the clip. So now we have the clip with its original adhesive sticking to the 3M double-sided tape. So it's adhesive to adhesive and now it's attached to the helmet. And I'm really pleased with this, it's working well. It's on there really good. I mean, you gotta think 3M stripping made for car body side molding um, is gonna be pretty strong. I don't want to say this is Hytale's fault. I think they could have probably used a better adhesive, but I do have to say that this helmet has a soft matte finish. It's not like old school bowling ball, glossy clear paint. And I think that may actually give it more surface area and be a little bit of a problem for anything sticking to it. So that being said, I'm enjoying the Hytale system. It's working. I'm not having to put my hair in a ponytail. I just literally tuck it up under here. And then we take your helmet off, your hair falls out, looks great. No more, you know, ponytail lines and those kind of things. So I give the Hytale system an A. I'm not giving it an A plus only because I don't know if it was their adhesive or, um, or this helmet, but um, they, they probably need to make this not as tight. I mean, there's just a few little modifications, but otherwise I think it's ingenious and I'm very pleased with the system. You can pull this out. So, you know, these clips fit down in here from the other piece. So if I wanted to put more clips on another helmet, I could, and then just move the high tail system from helmet to helmet. So that's my review. That's my experience with it so far. Happy riding.